Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. So, something different today. We're going to leave the Skyline alone for five minutes. Obviously, we've dropped the engine off to the engineers, the, uh, what do you call them, machinists to get all the uh, bores. They checked the bores and it went, I think it's a standard from Japan, but they are, they're wider at the bottom and then narrowed at the top. But I think that's normal. But we're going to bore them out anyway and forge them. So, they're on that today. They're going through the head. I think it was the head that was the issue. So, they're going to go through all that. Check all the guides and stuff. And uh, yeah, it should be a couple of days maybe. And back, put it back in the car. Fix, you know, build it back again, put it back in the car. But today we're gonna to be servicing the AMG, the neglected A45. I've had the service kit for ages. It's expired, the service on it keeps flashing up me every time I start the car up. So we've got the stuff, we've got the oil, we've got the filter. I'm gonna drop the oil outside the house like normal and uh, change it and also, little update on the shed look what i did yesterday oh yeah we can walk into the shed now and it's organized somewhat there's a pile of junk we're getting rid of <laughs> but yeah let's get uh this oil dropped and put some new fresh oil in there First things first, jack it up, and then a bit of safety. Two axle stands and the jack in the middle there. All we need to do is get to that sump plug bolt, which is leaking, which is good because we've got a new uh, crush washer. And let's get the um, oil and the bucket to drop it into. Ah, oh, look at this poor guy. If you um, haven't been following me along with me, we are currently rebuilding, fully forging an engine in the R33 GTST Skyline. Currently at a machine shop, if you don't know. But yeah, back on with the A45. This is what we purchased, guys. Straight off eBay. Oh, these peanuts, look. It's off eBay, but it's from a genuine Mercedes dealership. Genuine AMG oil, not worth 40. Oil filter as well, which hopefully fits more AMG oil because it's like 5.6 litres the engine takes. And there should be a brush washer in there somewhere. Let me dive in. Okay, guys, all you need to do he does you spend £700 for a service of oil with a Mercedes off your head, pop that off, oil comes out, pop oil in the top of the engine. Put a filter on top of engine, engine serviced. <laughs> Let's get, yeah, get that off, see what it looks like. Okay, it's a 13 mil odd leak because we've been messing around with jack bolts. Everything on the Skyline is 10s, 12s, and 14s, and 17s and stuff, but Mark, it's a 13. Do you reckon it's going to shoot forward? I think it's going to shoot forward. Oh, there goes the uh, sump plug. Do you have to grab it before it uh, fills up? Yes. We have it. Oh no, the uh, crush wash is in there, but... Oh, that is black. Are we 70 miles over um, the service recommendations? Not too bad. Let's wait for that. I'm usually really good with surfacing this thing. I, uh, I normally do it like every 5,000 miles, but... Because of the skyline, the uh, money pit, time pit, everything, we've we've neglected this bad boy. But there will be more coming to it. Won't come into this car if you uh, subscribe to the channel for the 845. And all I do is play with skylines. I apologise, but we'll get to it next. It's next. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Where is it? It's been a while. There we go, red thing. I just popped this thing off, obviously, to get to the oil cap a bit easier. And look what I found. This does not look good. The flipping worn, up, worn away hole in the air. Uh, what is that? Let's go into the, um, the, in, in the, the intercooler. 
So yeah, that's Dodge. We need to get ourselves a new, uh, a new bar. The thing is, the car doesn't drive bad at all. There's no boosting issues or anything. No coolant leaking. So yeah, it's a weird one, that. We shall replace that. Another thing to add to the uh, price list, ideal. Okay, while well, we're waiting for that oil to drain, because it takes a while, there's a 27 mil for the um, oil filter housing. Bosch, bang us on, get the filter off, change that. Right, we've diagnosed why this pipe's got a hole in it, because you notice just down there, where is it? Can you see it from there? Yeah. See, there's a bracket here, and the bolt is missing from it. So obviously it's wobbling with the engine, rubbing, and that's why we have hole. So I'll put a bolt in, but I'll do that once I've got a new pipe, because it's pointless doing it now. I'll just take it back off again in five minutes. But yeah, let's pop to Mercedes, grab that, and we should all be tickety-boo. Just went to Mercedes and uh, ordered a new pipe that's got the hole in it for the coolant, and some coolant. Guess how much the pipe was? Because it's an AMG. £45 for that little pipe. Bargain. More money. Okay, well, I would recommend is put some rags down where the oil filter comes off because it makes a bit of a mess. But, theory, on the street. There he is. Got a bit of oil everywhere, but that's how it goes. Well, hopefully, we got the right filter because I remember before I did it off eBay and it came and it was not the right size. But luckily, the Mercedes carriage is not too far from us. It does look like the right one. Pop them on. Job done. New um, seal. I need to get off with some tweezers or something. This little in, bad boy in because it clips in, it doesn't fall out, which is nice. Oh, hang on, why are you not going on? because you get a hood to the head now and again. Sorry. That's pretty much it, just clean up your mess. And then put some more back in and put the sub plug. Okay, sub plug is back in. Now, I'm going to try and pour this oil in without throwing it everywhere, which is going to be fun. Put a rag around there, eh? Because you know what I'm like. Oh, I dropped the sub plug as well, straight into the bucket of old oil. Classic. We skipped a bit so you don't have to watch me pour five litres of oil into an engine, but this is five litres. I've just had a quick Google as well, it's 5.5 litres apparently on the Googs. So, half of that bottle basically, the little one litre one we get, should be perfecto. But I'll put like quarter in, check dipstick, 
you know, we're professionals. But yeah, five litres. Five and just above half. So a little check and then you'll get the sticker. Should be just under the middle, you know, technically. What are we saying? Just there, look. Let's take a little bit more in, so it's at the top of the hash part. And uh, I'll be happy then. Right, we've got five and a half litres in there. Well, she, she looks like less because, I mean more because obviously the car's on the tail. What I do recommend as well is like, obviously if you do it at home and you're going to jack your car up, I've done it on like a hill. My, I've got like a slow, my hill's like that. So when you jack it up, technically the car's level. So when, you put, when you're doing this, it's a lot more accurate than it'd be wonky. But yeah, what you've got to do is now as well, start the car up, let the oil go into the oil filter and stuff and then check level again. We should all be gravy. Should all be gravy. It's alive. No leaks. Not at the moment. Obviously gotta let it warm up, drive it, check it. But yeah. I think that's a mission successful there, guys. And what else I'll do as well, I'll put the old oil back in this. I mean, it won't fit in because obviously it's 2.5 litres. It should be. <laughs> and then we can get rid of it easier than when we're carrying a bucket round. I mean, I have got a proper catch thing, but it's full of gearbox oil from the skyline, so we have to use a bucket today. Funny thing is, you can fit the whole five and a half litres in a five litre can that they send. I don't need to sell them in five and a half litres, so then you can just buy one can for a full service. But hey, let's not get onto that. And also, obviously, with Mercedes service that you pay £700 for, it's not just the oil. We obviously do an air filler. We've got the AirTech one, so we don't need to do that. I mean, you can clean that, but I can't bother, so I'm not going to. Um, what else would we do that we not like, normally do? The diff oil, rear diff oil I usually do, but I'm not doing it this time because it's supposed to be every two years. I usually do it every year. I'm going to skip this year. If it starts uh, slipping, because they do do that, when I first bought the car, I started doing it. So I wanked some new oil in it and it fixed it. So I basically fix it when it's broken or you can just service it when every two years or I do it every year sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. We just need to replace that pipe and get some coolant. And that is that. Okay, last but not least, we need to clean this thing, got pure all over it. We need to reset the service because we have serviced it. I'm not gonna record myself um, changing that pipe and putting coolant in because, you know, it's nothing exciting. So yeah, turn it on to click one of your key, hold the phone button, the call button, and the OK, hold it down, and then it comes up with this message here, saying, blah, 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 vehicle data, blah, blah, assist plus you go to, full service, I don't know what service it was, we go for two, shall we? <laughs> two? Go down see what it says. I'll confirm full service. Oil grade 22.5, I believe it was. Yeah. Service carried out, yes. Cannot be undone. Oh dear. That's fine. We serviced it. Confirm. Full service complete. And now it won't come up on your dashboard saying your service is 72 days I was out out. And now, if we turn them off, turn them back on, we shouldn't get any issues. There you go, no service coming up. Right, that's it. There we go, all serviced. Right guys, that's gonna be it for this one. We have successfully serviced the back. We need to get some bits for it, fix it, but that is done. Next, we'll be continuing on with the old skyline. Like and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And we'll catch you next one. Take it easy.